Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. Whether you're joining us live or later today or even on another day, I'm very glad that you are with us. As always, we're going to start with a blessing, and then we'll be reading from the book of Psalms. Today it is Psalm 5 and Psalm 6. And then we will be reciting the Nicene Creed and the Lord's Prayer together, and then we'll be going through the prayers of the people. And we're going to go ahead and get started this morning. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Starting with Psalm chapter 5. Hear my words, Lord, consider my groans, pay attention to the sound of my cries, my King and my God, because I am praying to you. Lord, in the morning you hear my voice, in the morning I lay it all out before you, then I wait expectantly, because you aren't a God who enjoys wickedness. Evil doesn't live with you. Arrogant people won't last long in your sight. You hate all evildoers. You destroy liars. The Lord despises people who are violent and dishonest. But me, I will enter your house because of your abundant, faithful love. I will bow down at your holy temple, honoring you. Lord, because of many enemies, please lead me in your righteousness. Make your way clear right in front of me, because there is no truth in my enemies' mouths. All they have inside them is destruction." Their throats are open graves, their tongues slick with talk. Condemn them, God, let them fall, fail by their own plans. Throw them out for their many sins, because they've rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you celebrate. Let them sing out loud forever. Protect them so that all who love your name can rejoice in you. Because you, Lord, bless the righteous, you cover them with favor like a shield. And continuing with Psalm 6. Please, Lord, don't punish me when you are angry. Don't discipline me when you are furious. Have mercy on me, Lord, because I'm frail. Heal me, Lord, because my bones are shaking and tear. My whole body is completely terrified. But you, Lord, how long will this last? Come back to me, Lord. Deliver me. Save me for the sake of your faithful love. No one is going to praise you when they are dead. Who gives you thanks from the grave? I'm worn out from groaning. Every night I drench my bed with tears. I soak my couch all the way through. My vision fails because of my grief. It's weak because of my distress. Get away from me, all you evildoers, because the Lord has heard me crying. The Lord has listened to my request. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies will be ashamed and completely terrified. They will be defeated and ashamed instantly. All right, and now I'll be putting the Nicene Creed in the comments so we can recite it together. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Actually, let me put that in the comments first. There we go. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Right, and now let us continue with the prayers of the people, which I'm putting in the comments right now. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. As always, the refrain, the part of the prayer that we all say together, is in all caps so that you can distinguish it. Lord, we pray for the worldwide church, for our congregation, the journey, and for our campus outreach ministry at Graceland University, that we may all be one. We open our hearts so that we may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all spiritual leaders around the world, and especially for our presiding bishop, Raul, our own bishop, Justin, our pastors, Sean, Tim, Lily, Eli, Caleb, Michelle, and Harrison, and all pastors, priests, and deacons of our Diocese of the Emmaus Way, that they may be faithful ministers of your gospel. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, especially our President Joseph, our Vice President Kamala, our Governor Mike, our Representatives Joshua, Sam, Emmanuel, and Ray, and those who serve in the local elected positions of our communities, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. We offer a special prayer for the people of Ukraine. We pray for an end to conflict and a start to deep abiding peace. And we pray that your spirit provides comfort and hope even in the midst of terrible circumstances. We also pray for Vladimir Putin and the nation of Russia that they experience conviction over their actions and repent of their violence and warfare. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, especially Robert, who is undergoing CART therapy, Charlotte, who is going through various health problems and who recently had a bad fall, Pan's granddaughter-in-law, who has been diagnosed with cancer, Patricia and her son, who have a fractured relationship, for Mike Snyder, whose brother Greg passed away recently, for Don Lowry and her family, for Shelley and her family, for Minister Chapman, for Paula's sister, for Christina, for Deborah's housing situation, for Michelle Mangold, who is seeking financial freedom, for Bishop Guido, his wife Trini, and their family, for Kate's grandmother, who is going through health issues, for Anna Lee and her children, who recently lost their husband and father Michael to cancer, for Jeremiah's sister Jennifer, who has stage 4 breast cancer, for Michelle and Jeremiah's family, who are sick with COVID, for Brandy and Jim and their family, who lost their grandchild Everett, for Jennifer Holloway's husband, who is searching for employment, for Michelle's uncle Dwight, whose wife Barb passed away recently, for Michelle's mother, who is adjusting to living with diabetes. For Vonda, who is recently diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease. For Candace's daughter, Nadia, who is facing serious health issues. And for Candace and all her children as they adjust to a new way of life. For Tim, that his recovery from back surgery may continue. For Rose Burkhardt, whose husband passed away recently. For Carrie Boulder and her son, Bryson, who lost the rest of their family to a severe storm. For William Hawes, who is recovering from brain surgery. And for Virginia, who has breast cancer. For Jennifer's friend Monta, who's going through a custody battle. For Valerie's friend, who has long COVID. For Anthony's husband, Michael, who is struggling with his health and his major breathing issues. For the families and loved ones of the Uvalde school shooting victims. And for Mackenzie, who has COVID. Let them be delivered from their distress and raise us up as your hands and feet in this world. Let us live in the light of your grace as we go about our daily lives. We especially thank you for your loving provision for Darla as she diligently cares for her mother in the midst of sickness. For Nikki, while she performs her daily work as an RGM and as she explores her faith day by day. And for Mia, Tim, Aiden, and Allie as Allie continues to grow. Let us always remember and live within the grace you are always giving us. Give to those who have passed, especially Greg Snyder, Michael Montier, Everett, Barb Reel, Michael Kinley and Owen Bolger, Melissa Baisley, Randy, those in our communities who have lost their lives to alcohol or drug addiction, 
and the 21 victims of the Uvalde school shooting eternal rest. Let the light of your love shine on them forever. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom and work to bring it about here on this earth. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin and nor be overcome by troubles. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Alright, and that concludes daily morning prayer for today. As always, I'm putting rethinkfaith.org slash prayer in the comments where you can go to submit your own prayer request. And as always, I would ask that you specify if your prayer request is public or private. The public prayer request will appear here. The private ones I'll only share with the Journey's leadership team, but either way, you'll have people praying for you. And then also please send us updates so that we can keep praying for you in whatever way is best for you. And that's all I have for today. So to anyone who's been here, thank you so much for being here. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. for daily morning prayer.